Hey, what's up everyone? Yeah, I know it's late, so here's Monday morning's update today. Okay, so first I gotta apologize because Monday morning's update is coming out on Tuesday, but with work and just life, uh, things kind of get put off. So let's get on with the update. The first thing you're gonna notice is the fungia plate is getting larger. Um, there is a lot of growth in the tank and that's due to one reason which I'll get into shortly. As you can see, the, the Zoa Garden is starting to thicken and everything is starting to fill out a lot more even the worldwide coral pandoras pop the new head so as far as this area of the tank is concerned a lot of the zoas that i want to fill out and pallies that i want to fill out are doing well there have been some issues as far as like these guys over here not popping out and not coming out at all and um, honestly, that area, if it fills up with the higher end coral, um, I'm not against that at all. The Hollywood Stunner is now completely curling up onto the return tower. So the growth on that coral is really doing well, as well as the digis, the red and purple digi. Um, Right here are several pieces of a neon green frog spawn that were recently put in the tank. And that, along with all the other SPS that's in the tank, caused um, a big swing in my parameters. My calcium was low and my alkalinity um, was way off. So it forced me to increase the dosing of the calc where i used to put four teaspoons in a five gallon jug i'm now up to six and it's been this is the second day that the sixth uh, teaspoon mix has been online and a lot of things are starting to come out more uh, this being one of them i'm get, starting to get a lot more polyp extension on this piece and this was one whole piece but as usual with something that i have uh, it dropped and broke, causing all these different frags that are now in the tank. Which I'm not really worried about because, you know what, the more the merrier. The Jason Fox, Barney Coral, the ends have greened up a lot. And the growth on it, you can see here this bluish purple tip is starting to get more and more uh, a deeper purple to it and the the neon green coloration that's on it as well is coming out also the red satosa is really doing well in its new area as well as the montipora cap is plating up really well starting to scoop up and as you can see is becoming a nice little showpiece The purple uh, cat's paw and green are doing well in there where they are. This green Monty, uh, encrusting Monty, has really started to get more green in it. So putting it up to a new spot in a little bit more higher light is doing well. And its growth, it's encrusted into the rock. So I'm really happy about its growth. This birthday cake that was from Billy Pipes this piece right here um, is starting to encrust down there's no rock under there causing that you can see right there it's causing that wave to the just that bottom skirt so as it grows I'm hoping it folds in and starts encrusting on that part of the rock the rainbow pallies have started 
to sprout new ones and now there is five where there used to be um, originally these are the original the two larger ones are the original two and now there's three additional the purple and gold um, candy cane with the green mouth is, is really doing well where it is so there's no complaints about that this what appears to be a green um, blasto or scoli is starting to grow so I'm hopeful in the near future to be really able to get a good look at what this is going to be the night before Christmas Fabia is really doing well now it's spreading down the side of the rock that it was cut from and it's starting to come down to the point where it's about to encrust on the rock that I put it on as well as this other Fabia starting to take off there's another one right here um, it's brand new to the tank and uh, we'll see how this makes out but as you can see it seems to be doing well and actually has um, what appear to be ten feeder tentacles coming out to grab some food. I've been dosing uh, sea chem, phyto, and zooplankton, and that has done wonders with these corals and sending out sweepers. As you can see, the A-cans, uh, especially these from Billy Pipes, are really doing well in the tank and sending out all kinds of sweeper tentacles. Uh, the A-can section of this tank is really, really doing well, and I'm really happy about that. This piece, also from Billy Pipes, the show piece here is, is the coloration on it is really, really good, and um, it continues to do well as well as these Blastos here. So they have colored up, the green is more pronounced, and the burgundy and gold skirts are uh, puffed up and there is even a little baby underneath here you can see the the sweepers coming out from the side so that's growing well and doing well in the tank the baseball size neon green candy canes which were a baseball size are now a softball size and since since switching to the sea chem um, the sweepers on this side where most of the current it, down here is flowing to are out pretty much constantly. The little baby fungia is not a little baby anymore. It's now kind of a toddler and is sending out a sweeper. It's getting more green development around the bottom. Right here you can see these neon, they look orange here but they're deep red are getting especially that one is getting huge and i'm hopeful that that's going to start spreading out into rock and developing a huge colony of those the euphelia corner has got some changes to it as you can see the frog spawn that i have here is not as big as it was this is actually a newer piece that was uh on the sand bed originally and now I've glued it here because that section where this frog spawn was I gave to Danny over at Coral Lust for his tank so this one blends in perfectly and um, is coloring up and filling out so I pretty much like the way this is looking and the, the clownfish don't mind it either the next stage up I've moved the purple and gold hammer the neon green tip frog spawn the purple tip hammer and the neon green hammer all to this section to give more of a full look there i have this purple tip hammer just sitting here right now for temporary um i don't know whether i'm going to make that a home because i actually witnessed this torch the purple uh, or the pink tip torch stinging it so I actually had to pull the one tentacle off of it this frog spawn also from Billy Pipes is the same one as that one but you can see after a couple of weeks of sitting 
off the sand bed. This one has been on the sand bed pretty much since I put it in the tank. And you can see it's, it's a very light color and almost trans, a little opaque. But after it's been up here a while, it'll turn much like this one in my tank and get a full green look to it. And, and the purple tips will be more pronounced. But for now, it's okay. The Worldwide Corals um, torch is doing really well. And there's that one big long sweeper that, that it puts out. So it likes where it is and that's where it's gonna stay. The purple torch also from Billy Pipes is starting to fill out. Most of the tentacles are now purple and the white ones are just mixed in there but they'll fill out and color up. <clears throat> as far as fish, um, besides losing the fox face, the population has stayed pretty much as is. The yellow tang, the hippo tang, and ocean are doing really well. There's no ill effects as far as whatever caused the death of the fox face has not affected them. And you saw the clownfish, nothing's gone on with them. The mollies are in the back picking out the algae in the, off the glass, so I can't really get them on camera, but I know that they swam, swam by a few minutes ago. And especially since I just fed them an algae sheet, um, they're looking for little bits that are floating around the tank. The last thing I want to go over is this right here. This is the J-Cod Gyre. And you can see right here, especially all these micro bubbles being kicked off by this. Now I cleaned this, I've dunked it in, in vinegar, and it still keeps putting out these micro bubbles. So if that doesn't change, most likely I'm gonna swap this out for a RW8 or uh, another J-Bo J head and just get this out of my system for now. So that's pretty much it for this update. Uh, there's going to be some uh, different videos coming out later on in the week so watch out for them and as always this is Scott and I'll see you soon around the reef tank